This is a five week and welcome welcome to today's session and I'm glad uh, you're here if you could add in the chat box uh, where you're from in case um, others don't know and then uh, we'll get started this is the uh, beginning it's never the end it's um, the um, final class of the five-week course and the course is TESOL with Web Technologies. Today is June 7, 2013. The course started in March. I'm glad you're glad that I'm here too. All right, so I'm going to ask you a few questions. Today is going to be an interactive um, session as... Um, it's about Google Drive, and Google Drive really offers us a chance to uh, engage in real time, not only uh, by seeing one another, but actually by uh, collaborating and eventually publishing whatever it happens to be, if we can do it in the time that we're uh, fully online. Hello, Liz. And welcome. All right, so take a look. If this is your first time on with you, uh, you'll get a chance to um, experience what it's like to be in a live online class. I call it a class because it really does resemble a class uh, with uh, teacher control, but uh, students can also uh, have some kind of um, leadership. If the teacher gives it to them, <laughs> which is an important aspect of uh, teaching in these classes. All right, so um, we've done a lot of technologies with TESOL. If you could just uh, look at the uh, slide and uh, write down, or at least think about, how many of these technologies, these are all web technologies, which means that you can get them on the web through the internet. So there's Google Drive, Present Me, Jing, Integrating Technology, which is a Moodle, Slide Speech, WizIQ, Snagit, Moodle, Screencast-O-Matic, and that's it. And perhaps there are other web technologies that you've used. All right, so if you could just uh, make a list of the ones that either you found useful or the ones that you've tried at least hello helena and well guadalupe and liz and um carl who else is here let's see georgia and i'm sure others will be joining along all right, so Carl says, was IQ, Google Drive, and Jink? I have a feeling that Jink is even better than it was before. Everything works just as well, including the video. So Jink uh, is incredible. Uh, free, Jink is free for those who are interested. It's a way to cut up images. It's also a way to get to create a five-minute video. It's completely free. You just uh, cut images from a screen, any screen. It's almost like cutting with scissors. And then you can uh, copy it and paste it on a slide. You can also paste it on a Google Drive. And we're going to practice that today. So if you don't have Jing, you might want to uh, download it. Snagit is not free. I'm not sure how good it is. I've been using it, and I paid something like $19, $20. I think that's what it costs a year. And I'm still not sure whether, you know, it's that great. Okay, very good. You've tried Screencast-O-Matic. I see that Carl hasn't tried Screencast-O-Matic. Screencast-O-Matic is amazing um, because you can actually write on the screen. You write. Okay, you've got tools for writing, and I think that's really exciting, but that's only for the pro now. It's completely free, and you can share it on YouTube for free, but for the writing tools, it's something like 19 something dollars a year. And I think it's really worth the price. 
slide speech is completely free you add um, speech actually you add text to your slides and then uh, you add it to slide speech completely free and you get a robot or you can have your own voice on the slides screencast matic as I said Moodle of course is completely free to install it's not free to host WizIQ is free premium account you can get it if you're a teacher and um, you connect with me I'll be able to get you a free account if you can take one of the courses so you learn to use it like Carl has uh, if I see that you're using it and you know what you're doing I'll do my best and get you a free account uh, which is worth I think $190 and then you can buy uh, Screencast-O-Matic for, <laughs> for $20 a year I think it's really worth it I wouldn't get Snagit I would stick with Jing and present me now also costs money but you can have the free version too so uh, Guadalupe has tried what about the rest of you uh, Helena what have you tried I know you've tried Moodle you're still not using it but you will be a Moodler I can see that Georgia says um, for forms yes it's excellent Okay, but we're talking about teaching with it, actually using it in our classes. I uh, shared a video with you. I wasn't here uh, last week, but I shared a video. And um, here it is the video, and I added it to the landing page of the class. I hope you're able to view it. How many of you were able to view it? Give me a thumbs up if you were able to watch it. Great excellent you know it's really important to model you know learning online is just an opportunity for us to uh, learn what our students go through and try to uh, model what we'd like them to do and if we can't do it if we don't do our uh, assignments we don't do the tasks it's going to be hard to expect our students to do it so we're going to have to figure out what works for us so that we can encourage our students to do because if we don't want to do it don't expect your students to do what you don't do so modeling is really important and um, every time you get a chance to take an online course try to do your best to do everything <laughs> so that uh, you get the feel because there's a lot to uh, learning online and if you can become addicted <laughs> to learning online so to speak to learning actually then it'll be a lot easier for you to pass that to your students your enthusiasm is the key to your uh, student success in fact okay so Google Drive is a way to keep everything and share anything that's what they claim and uh, just to show you uh, Georgia mentioned the forms okay this is text on the left what is next to the text let's see how good you are okay next to the text in green if you could write that in the chat take a look at what it looks like it's got something like a table that's right Liz very good it's a spreadsheet and then next to that they're all in boxes very um, technical PowerPoint that's right Carl and then next to that of course is and notice it's connected to this one they go together you connect them it's it's um, actually anybody else that's a guess Liz that's a very good guess graphs you say um, well you're gonna have to look it up okay so take a look go to Google Drive I recommend using Google Chrome for Google Drive and uh, for WizIQ to use anything uh, Firefox Safari whatever you want just not Chrome because apparently uh, WizIQ and Chrome don't mix well together these days I don't know why they'll probably get it fixed I see question marks you should be sure okay uh, because your students will ask you so what are you going to tell them did somebody write the answer oh that's right Liz thank you that's right okay and next to that this is new and they'll keep adding this will probably have two rows very soon 
<laughs> Monopoly. <laughs> That's good. Um, okay, yes, they're going to have different things. Their images and uh, graphs. Lots of things, including audio and videos. You can now add videos to your screen. And we're going to experiment, okay? So, so don't feel like you don't know everything because Google keeps adding things. So you're never going to know everything. And I think that's really encouraging that it's ongoing because Google only started driving their Google Drive um, just a while ago. It used to be Google Docs. And it's about sharing for learning. Google Drive is for sharing and collaborative peer and teacher review learning. And it's excellent for the TESOL teacher. You don't have Georgia? You should have it because it's for everybody. I don't think uh, Google um, discriminates. It's We all have the same thing. Oh, your video doesn't show up. Do you mean on Google Drive? It should. Um, you should try because it's new. It's fairly new and they keep improving it. So if it didn't work yesterday, it may work today. If not today, then tomorrow, because they keep improving. They even have a feedback form now that's excellent on YouTube. So things keep changing. Yes, the layout changes. They're making life very, very good for teachers and students because that's how things are on the Internet. Things are always changing and we have to be ready for the change. And uh, you never know everything. So there's text, there's PowerPoint, presentation forms, spreadsheets, images, videos, audio, Everything you need, multimedia, is right there. Now, for today's session, okay, we're going to be working on um, a uh, Google Drive, and this is what you're going to do. I don't expect you to finish it today, but uh, I'm sure you'll be able to uh, do this during the week. So you fill in the row, okay, you fill in the form, and let me show you what the form looks like so that uh, it's not a mystery. I'm going to screen share. If you have problems with your screen sharing apparatus, um, let me know if you're using a Mac or you're using a PC. It doesn't make a difference. It works. It really does. So if, if you're having any problems, I'm the expert. I've had problems. So um, contact me if you're screen sharing tool does not work on WizIQ. Okay, so we're going to go to um, Okay, this is the course for those of you who um, are new. I'm not sure if you're here in the course. You can join the course. It's never too late. And if you join the course, you get a free the course is about I don't know how it's almost practically nothing. I think it costs something, but you get a free um, premium account for a year that's worth, I think, about $200. And um, where's our Google Drive? I can't seem to find it. Okay, so I'm going to use my Chrome because I don't like to use... Um... Okay, there's my Chrome. It's ready to go. You should be able to see it soon. Okay, it's coming up, and I'll share the link with you, even though everything is clickable on the PowerPoint the link. It looks like, yes, look at that, kill pages. Um, it looks like Chrome. Well, you know, they're, they're doing so much work on um, 
on Google that And they they seem to uh, see it's it's uh, Google doesn't seems to uh, suffer on the Mac. I think it's just a Mac thing, probably. Okay, let me try to get it back so I can see you working there. Or I'll just uh, forget about Chrome. Just get rid of Chrome. There, I've just gotten rid of Chrome. It seems to me that Chrome is um, going through some kind of um, problem on the Mac. Okay, so I'm back. Um, let's, just let me know if you got that. I'm screen sharing, so uh, you're seeing um, the room probably twice. Let me know in the chat if you've managed to get that. And I'm going to add it to my Safari because Chrome doesn't seem to um, understand the Mac. Okay, so um, let me just make sure. Oh, I see you there. Excellent. I just want to make sure that nobody takes... Make sure that when you're doing this and sharing public um, documents such as this, make sure that there's a change here, that you change it so that nobody kicks you out. You see, if you don't change, only the owner can change permissions. That means that somebody can actually uh, sometimes throw you out. Or Okay, so I see Helena's here, George is here. Welcome. Excellent. Good to see you. Now, this is one way, of course, of uh, sharing the content. You can also go to the comment box here and um, add comments. And you can also add audio. And this is really good for our uh, students, our English language learners. How do you get it? You write apps and then you can get it. A long trip today from Slovenia to Greece. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so these are the instructions. You can read them. Okay, follow the instructions. Make sure you understand them. Okay, and then here is the... Um, I thought I'd change this. Okay, uh, here is the... Uh, information. I see the headings are gone. So uh, the headings, well, maybe you can figure out what the headings are. Did you copy that? Are you copying that? Okay, first of all, it's your name. Okay, and then it's the project. Project name. And then you're going to get a survey. So let's just put survey. And then you're going to add your PowerPoint. No, the text, sorry. Uh, yeah, the PowerPoint, PowerPoint. I do this with my students quite a bit. So your name, you add over here. You can just put your first name. You don't need to put your full name because some people don't like to be identified. That's fine because this is a, do a public document. But with your students, uh, they will add their names. 
and then the project name what do you want to do a project on and um, you add the link okay you add the link your uh, text link under it okay don't forget so it's uh, the link to your text and then survey will be your form and you need to add um, the link to the form next um, is your PowerPoint and you're going to share it so you're going to also uh, add the link to your PowerPoint okay after that you're going to add your feedback and you're going to add the link wherever they wherever it happens to be to feedback it could be a, a blog could be anywhere and then you're going to um, add a video so uh, this will be on YouTube or Vimeo so it could be YouTube it could be I would do YouTube because YouTube you can add to your text okay so that's the information sorry this should be your name okay first name first or last okay so what are we talking about first of all project uh, if I write my name uh, the project that I want to do is uh, is going to be on mindfulness now if you want this to be in the middle all this in the middle this is what you do you go over here and you can add it to the middle or to the left okay here I want it to the left but I want it to go notice here I want some space okay notice everything that you have here they keep adding things and you can hyperlink the word so I want to do it on mindfulness and um, I'm going to go and create a file so I'm going to go into here create a text file and I'm going to call it notice what I'm doing I'm going to call it mindfulness mindfulness and then I'm going to write mindfulness now I want to make a table of contents because I like table of contents I'm going to go into a heading I'll make it first heading and then I'm going to add it to the center and then I'm going to add a uh, table of contents by going into insert notice all the things that I have here all the options just use everything get to know it the more you use it the more you remember it, and you'll be able to do this with your students so here's the table of contents you can also bookmark see mindfulness is the first one and then um, if I click on it it takes me right there so you might want to have uh, okay so next I'm gonna have another title so I'm gonna go to uh, over here add heading number two and I'm gonna call this uh, plan okay this is my plan I'm gonna plan this out okay um, and add that later okay so I'm gonna plan it out see what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna write about and so on once I get some ideas of what I want to do I'm gonna go and get a form but before that I'm gonna share this document with you so I'm gonna go into share make it public instead of private I'll make it public but not public completely I'll make it anyone with a link okay with your students you don't have to do this and then I'm gonna add edit so people can also or should I make it comment no I don't want them to edit I want them just to comment add their comments and then I'll save it so I can share the link and then I'm going to go back to over here I'm going to add the link I'm going to hyperlink the word mindfulness by going into insert and the link I can also find the link here okay add the link there are a few places to get the same thing okay the link is also here so I've got that so I'm connected next 
I'm going to create a form for survey. Okay, so we'll do this one step at a time. I'm going to go to the form. Now notice here there's a, um, over here, there's a, an arrow. I go into that arrow and I'm going to go into create. And this time I'm going to create, oh, it's slow. I'm going to create a form. Click on form. And don't forget, I just want to share it with you. So I'm going to work on this all week. But in the meantime, I just want to make sure that I create it, share the link with my teacher or uh, for you to share the link with your students, and then you work on it, collab. I'm going to call this uh, mindfulness. Mindfulness. Okay, and um, I, I have a favorite. <laughs> I like this one. The book's classic. I don't know. Okay, so uh, first question I'm going to write is... Um, I'll write a definition. No, I want to know actually what people think. So I'm going to write, ask for their name. So they can tell me what they think about mindfulness. Um, what is your name? Okay, so I just know their name so I can relate to them. Okay, and then it's not a multiple choice. It's just a text. And I want everybody to write their name. Okay, next item, I'm going to ask something about mindfulness. Notice I can change this. So I'll make it a multiple choice. And the question is, um, do you, what is mindfulness? Okay, so what is mindfulness? Okay, what is mindfulness? And the question is, uh, do you know what mindfulness is? Okay, so multiple choice, choice one. Yes. Choice two. No. And then I can do a survey. How many people know what mindfulness is? How many don't? Um, okay. Done. So I've got two questions because I want to do a survey on mindfulness. So I'm going to write what I want to do. I'd like to know what people think about mindfulness. Do they know what it is? Do they know what it is. Do they practice? Do they practice? Uh, do they practice it? I'm Canadian, so I put an S, but you see it corrects me. Um, and so on. Okay, so I can continue. I'm going to leave this for now. I'm going to share the form. Okay, so here's the link to the form. And I can send it by email or I can get the original. Now, here I have to decide where do I want the uh, results. So I want the result in a new sheet. No, always create a new spreadsheet. Okay. Keep responses only in forms or create a new spreadsheet. Where do I want them? Well, you decide. Keep responses only in forms. No, I want to know. I want to do work on this. Okay, so I'm going to go now. Notice what I have here. Um, I've got theme, new res view responses, and view live form. So I'm going to go to the live form because this one I want to share with you. Remember, I'm sharing everything. So now I'm going to go back to my Google Drive, if I can find it. Okay, I think it's this one. No, it's this one. No, it's this one. No, it's this one. Where is it? Um, it's this one. No. So I can't find my Google Drive. There we go. Uh, I'm going to close all this so I can find it. I lost it. I lost my form. So let me go back to this one. Okay, here it is. The instructions. And here is the form. Okay, so I'm going to write down my survey. Okay, Helena's here. I'm going to write the survey. Okay, this is my survey, the link to my survey. Okay, I see George is helping me here. Thank you. That's very kind. 
You see, that could happen. Okay, it could very well happen. Where it's, okay, now I'm going to create a PowerPoint. Notice, I'm creating a text with what I'm going to do. I'm going to plan everything there. I'm also going to write the results. So my essay, actually my project, is in a text. I'm going to uh, do a survey, and then I'm going to share the survey in a PowerPoint. So I need to create a PowerPoint. So now I'm going to go, there's the arrow, I'm going to go to, back to here, okay, and I'm going to create a PowerPoint. Here we are. And you can add videos to the PowerPoint for sure. Okay, so I'm going to give it a name. What am I going to call it? I need to choose a theme. All right, I like the blue. Okay, there's a theme. Okay, I've chosen a theme. Now I need to give it a title. I'm going to call it, remember the same thing, mindfulness. I want to share the link with you. Mindful. Mindfulness. There we go. Okay, and then I'll put the title, Mindfulness. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's a nice color. I like that. Okay, and then now I'm going to go to share. Remember, I want to share it. So I need the link. If I want to make it private, I keep it private, but I don't want to make it private. I want anyone. And I want you to be able to comment or I can make help you. You can edit, but no, I want you to comment. This is my project. And then I'll make it. Anyone with a link can comment. No sign in necessary. Okay, so this is the link. I'm going to take the link and I'm going to go back to my Google Drive. Okay, if I can find it. Maybe I lost it again. There. Yeah, it looks like um, I keep losing it. Okay, so let me go there from here. Okay, that should bring me back. I think. Okay, there it is. Navigation is a big deal, but I wouldn't worry about it. Here, there's a table of contents. You should do the table of contents at the end. I just wanted to show. Okay, so here it is. Uh, don't forget we're mindfulness. I'm going to add the link to my PowerPoint and I'm going to hyperlink it. Oops, you don't need to do it like that. Just highlight it or just go like that and there it is. Okay, I clicked on the enter button and that's it. And then I'm going to add my feedback in a blog. I'm going to add this to a blog. So I might want to write the blog here, the link to the blog. Okay, and then of course I'm going to upload it to YouTube. And that's how you do it, okay? So this is your work for the week. Now let's see if you have any questions. You can add comment. If you've got a question, you go into comments, add your question. Or if you've got a question about the project, what is she talking about? Okay, notice all these things here. So uh, any questions? Any questions? I'm sure there are. There should be a lot of questions. I was very vague. Any questions? So encourage your students to ask. And if you have to make things vague so they will ask, that's one way of knowing whether they're paying attention or not. Because if you're not clear and nobody seems to have any questions, something is wrong. Okay, so you click on it and then you'll get questions. So I expect questions. Good, so ask questions. That was the idea, Helena. Okay, the idea is for you to ask questions because it's too fast. Okay, good. All right, so you've got your name. You've got the text. Okay, title. Ask questions. So Helena has a topic. Okay, I'm waiting for questions. Not in the chat box, right here on the document. If you want me to share the document with you, I'll do that. Even though I see you there, don't be shy to ask questions. It's so important to get used to, if you could ask questions, encourage your students to do the same. Questions are very, very important. Here's the, the link again, Guadalupe. Okay, there's the link to the uh, document, to the text document, where uh, you're going to ask questions.
okay so let's go and see what you're doing there okay back to the Google Drive instructions all right ask questions every question is a good question today somebody asked me um, is Moodle the same as Hotmail well I'm sure there is some something that they have in common but you know every question is good because questions show us how to help our students very important so can you start at one tool and experiment that's how we learn better No, Helena, you do it now. Don't be afraid. Ask questions now. Look, the first question should be, what projects? What do I do? Where do I go? Okay, so the first thing you do is you choose a topic. Any topic. I chose mindfulness. Helena chose online teaching. So please add a name, something you would like to research. A topic that you'd like to learn about and share anything that interests you because that's what you're going to do with your students they're going to choose a topic of their choice they're going to write a little bit about the topic create a survey and share the survey link with their friends to get information from their friends and even on Facebook from strangers then they're going to write about the findings because Google allows us to get the information from the responses so we can get the data and then they're going to create a PowerPoint presentation and share their findings about the subject and then they're going to give feedback so feel free to add a your name and then a topic that you're interested in in the next column Alina, you've got a huge topic there, but that's okay. Teaching and learning. Why did you take it off? It's a good topic. And then Guadeloupe. Carl, very good. I love that color. Google is coming up with amazing colors for uh, for people. Very good, Helena. That's right. That's what you. That's what you're working on. It doesn't have to be something that you're not involved in. That's right. Culture is something that you're interested in. Word eye test. Okay, once you have your topic, um, you create a Google Drive text document. You share it publicly and allow people to comment, or if you want them to edit, you can work together and edit. Just like Carl has, you see he's got a link. And then you create a survey form. You can edit it afterwards just to get the link. Helena, is that uh, the form? Let me check if that's the form. I think you've added a link to a website, which is wonderful. But the idea is to add a link to your form everything is only yours here so culture would be the text so you would need to add a text so you go to file I'll do this slowly you go to file you um, create 
a new file for yourself. You don't have to go out of this. You can create it right here. You go to File and New Document. You click on the document. And then it opens up. You have to be in Google in, Google in your account to do this. And then you give it a name. And then you share it so that you can get the link. The idea is to share for the link. You have to share it. If you don't share it, you don't get a link. Okay, like I have a link and Carl has a link. Okay, it's a sharing. That's the link. If there's no, if you don't share, you don't get a link. That's how it works. So, Helena, you have to go to your Google account, your Gmail account, go into Google Drive, create a text document, call it culture, go to share on the top right, share it, get the link, and then you can hyperlink the word culture. Okay, so I'm waiting for the others. You don't have to write your full name. You can write a first name. You can write an anonymous name. You can write, uh, you know, um, something else. Like I see anonymous sheep. So you can write beaver. If you don't want to identify yourself penguin. And if you don't want to make it public, you can make it private. If you make it private, you go to share and then you change it to private. When you make it private, you also get a link. Okay, so you can make it private and then you also get the same link. But I don't want to do that now because I want you to be here. I don't want to throw you out. But you always get a link no matter what when you share. So share privately or share publicly. And if you have a question, ask as you go. Keep asking. Don't feel that um, that your question is not good enough. Okay, Carl, you're adding another document here. Now, if you go to the end of the link, and you click enter, it'll become hyperlinked. Oh, it'll become active, sorry. It's uh, exactly, yeah, that's how it's done. Very good. Oh, Halima, welcome. Good to see you. I wouldn't know that you were here. Excellent. You made it. Wonderful. All right. Good to see you. You know, what? Uh, Jason R. Levine said something. Somebody asked him, you know, where do you teach now? Do you teach in a school, in, in a building? Uh, and he said, I teach online. Where do you teach online? I teach the world. I teach on Facebook. I teach on LinkedIn. I teach on Scoop It. I teach on Twitter. Um, I teach everywhere. And I have and my students live everywhere in the world. So you don't have to have a classroom in order to uh, be a teacher these days. You can be an open teacher and teach to the world. So I think that's, uh, it's making learning very, very accessible and very, very exciting. You can be a teacher to anyone. Okay, so Halima, I think you came in late, so I'm not sure. What you do is you create a document, a text document for Uzbek higher ed faculty training.
You can do this in another language as well. You don't have to do it in English. If you're going to teach something in a language other than English, that's fine. But you need to go to File. You need to be on your Gmail account. Excuse me. Go to File. Uh, George is here now with her Gmail account. Yes, you would have to go into your Gmail account and then you go into New, Create a Document, and then share it and you get the link. Okay, so Halima, the next stage is to create a document and hyperlink and call it Uzbek High Ed Faculty Training and then share the link. You can make it private, share it, and then you get a link and you can hyperlink the words. Okay, so Carl is ready. Okay, you're ready for the work. Uh, this is not fast work. It takes, it's going to take time. Okay, so um, I'm going to go back to class. You're going to continue this and we'll be connected. This will be our connection and everybody will be able to work at their own speed. All right, so I'm back. You can come back and join me in class. Yes, of course, Georgia, you can do this in German. You can do it in any language. And today with Google Translate, it's not a problem. I understand every language that Google Translate has. So Google Translate is really getting better and better. Um, I communicate with people in languages that I've never heard of with Google Translate. So you simply, um, and it works instantaneously. It's just amazing. How many of you are familiar with Google Translate the way it is now because it's changed? It, uh, it's become so amazing. I get excited just thinking. It's fun just going there and seeing how it works. And uh, we could go there now. Uh, let me share it with you. There's Google Translate. You use it, Carl? I, I just find it amazing because right now it, it, it translates as you go. So um, I've never seen anything like it. it it's instantaneous. It's, uh, it's just powerful, really powerful. So here it is. Let's say I want to write something in English. So I'll write, um, I hope you, and what language do I want? Spanish. Okay, so I'm in Spanish. I hope you, un oops, I made a mistake. I hope you understood the assignment. Okay, there it is. Espero que usted, usted, well, whatever. I can't even pronounce it. Let's go to other languages. Um, let's go to, uh, let's see, uh, Slovak. There. Okay, there is. Dufam Cheshte in Slovak. Uh, my mother is from, Czechos well, used to be Czechoslovak. Let's go to um, Croatian. There, see, every, it translates into every possible language. Let's go to Welsh. <laughs> There's Welsh. Um, we could go to Dutch. Polish. Okay, let's go to Polish. There. Mam nez. You have to be able to read Polish, though. Mam nez. I can't read that. Helena would read it. Okay. Um, so you could actually, you don't have to read it, but you can translate it into every possible language. Uh, let's see, French. French I know, so there's French. J'espère que vous avez compris la session. Session, la session. Okay, isn't that fun? And you can do it the other way too, of course. So I get really excited because it's a it's, uh, it's an amazing tool, and I, I hope that um, you can use it as well. So that's, um, that's Google Translate. Yeah, you can, also try and, you can also hear it. That's right. Turkish, you can also hear it. I forgot. You can also turn on and I be able to hear the it. I hope you understood the assignment. Sorry, I, uh, I forgot uh, that part. Thank you, Georgia. Yes, session. you can also hear it, which is really exciting as well. To be able to uh, to hear it. Mam nadzieję, so, yes. że zrozumiał so zadanie. 
and then in French. Isn't it amazing? Okay, I want to hear Polish. Okay. I hope you Here's understand the assignment. Mam nadzieję, że rozumie zadanie. Isn't that beautiful? It's just beautiful. I think it's just amazing. Just amazing. Um, here, they changed. I hope you understand the assignment. I hope you understand the assignment. Mam nadzieję, że rozumie zadanie. You can learn. You don't need teachers, but they need us. They need us to help them with these with technology so that they can improve uh, their learning experience. So you need teachers. You need teachers for these things to help your students get online and learn online. That's what they need us. So that's what we have to learn. Okay. All right. Are there any questions? Can I pass on the mics to you? Uh, any questions about any of this? I wanted to share the Google Drive in the classroom with you. There's also something else that uh, is on the uh, form. Oh, Halim was writing very large. That's okay. Uh, there's a, uh, a Google Docs. It's at the end. Let me find it for you. There it is. Okay, there's a Google Doc uh, PowerPoint presentation that I want you to work on. Okay, here it is. And um, let me share it with you. Okay, right now it's anyone. So here it is. Okay, there's the uh, there's the document. Okay, I almost forgot about them. Okay, the Google Drive in the classroom. And here you can practice together. This is going to be a the feedback. Okay, this is going to be our feedback and um, feedback for this session. And the first question is, what have you learned about Google Drive? And how are you going to use it? Okay, so uh, let's go back there and you can add to the document. Have you learned what have you learned about Google Drive and how are you going to use it? You can do it now and you can do it later. And the next question is what more do you want to know? And I think this is a very important question. What more would you like to know about Google Drive? Now the only way to get questions is to use the system. If you use it and make mistakes you will have questions. But if you don't do anything, you won't make mistakes. And if you don't make mistakes, you won't have questions. If you don't have questions, you're not going to learn anything. So questions are key. <laughs> if we don't want to know anything, we're not gonna, and I tell this to my students, if you don't have questions, what are you doing here? Okay, the, you have to have questions in order to learn. Okay, that's number one. And kids have questions. They have questions all the time. If you if you remember your children or other people's children or grandchildren, whatever, they're always asking questions. You know, they ask their parents all the time, why is it like this? Why do we have to go to grandma? Why do I have to go to sleep? Why do I have to eat this? I mean, they're full of questions. You know, sometimes annoying questions, but that's how you learn. So that's what we have to encourage our students to do, to keep asking questions. And I hope you can hear me because the bar seems to be kind of low. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can see it going up and up now. You can hear me now. So are you busy on the Google Drive? Is that where you are? Yes, you are. Is that where you are? Are you adding to this? To uh, You can add videos to this. Just play around with a PowerPoint presentation. It is very powerful. Very powerful. I'm waiting for the day when WizIQ will be connected to Google Drive so that I can see everything straight on the screen. That's what I want. And it's going to happen very soon. Everything's going to be connected to everything. 
and I won't have to screen share. I'll just see it on the same screen on the whiteboard on WizIQ. I see somebody's raised their hands. Excellent. That's very good. Ah, Barack, welcome. Welcome to the session. And Alfonso, good to see you. Well, Alfonso, I don't know if you came in on time, but it's one step at a time. Um, go over the recordings. Everything is here. But you have to be pretty independent. Learning online means becoming independent. It's about learning. You can learn with other people, but you have to become responsible because it's up to you. No one's going to go no, no, no. And even if people pay a lot of money, by the way, it doesn't make them responsible. Just because somebody pays money for your courses doesn't mean that they're going to do the work. And I think teachers like it when their students participate. And it's not about the money. It's about being engaged and doing. All right, our time is up. Uh, if you've got a question, please add it to uh, the chat. What we did today, um, I shared a document with you. This is going to be your work for the week. Your instructions for collaborative learning is also on the course. For those of you who haven't joined the course, um, let me give you the link to the course. You can join now, it's never too late, and nobody will be kicked out of the course. Um, actually, this course is going to go on. That's a little secret. Uh, we're not gonna stop the course. It's not only going to be a five-week course, the course is going to continue. Um, I hope that's good news. And if you want to leave the course, you can also leave the course. But if you wanna stay, you're welcome to stay. Um, the course is going to start all over again, not with the same content, of course. It's always going to be different topics, but it's going to continue here. Let me add the, uh, the link. It's going to continue in July, okay? Uh, it's going to continue in mid-July. Uh, the reason it's gonna continue in July and not now is because in J June, I'm going to be very busy with the Moodle MOOC and with uh, a conference at Ed Media that I'm going to be uh, giving two workshops, one on Moodle and one on WizIQ, and that's in, uh, Van in Victoria, Canada for Ed Media. And then I'm going to be busy with other things, but uh, we're going to resume. Oh, you lost sound, did you? Oh, uh, you might, I don't know why, why would somebody lose sound? Ah, I know, maybe the bar went down. Sometimes it happens, um, Guadalupe, I don't know, she'll probably hear this later on in the recordings. Uh, the sound goes down. You need to always make sure that your, the bar just above my head is going up and down. Okay, just to share it with you. Let me just show you for a second what I mean about the bar going up and down. Okay, there it is. I hope you see it. Just above my head, there's a bar. And if I see it going up to the orangey red, it means it's working. I can also go into my settings, device settings, and make sure that the bar has not gone down. It has to be in the middle. It has to be full. Over here too, it must be in the middle. Otherwise, uh, it means that either I don't Nobody hears me, or I don't hear anything over there. Okay. Oh, it freezes and then it readjusts itself, right, Carl? That's right. It readjusts. WizIQ now has a readjustment system that brings everything back. It makes sure that uh, everything's working for you. So thank you very, very much, everyone. It was a wonderful uh, adventure to give the uh, this session and we're going to resume I invite you to join the Moodle MOOC those of you who have not I know Halima Halina has and Halima has but you're welcome before it gets timed out let me just uh, extend 
you're welcome to join the Moodle MOOC uh, and learn about connecting with other people. There are about 1,700 people in the MOOC. And it's a chance to uh, continue learning, to adjust, and to uh, get used to learning online and being independent. If you Google Moodle MOOC, you should be able to access the course. That's how I find it, because um, otherwise there's too much out there. And um, the only way to get anything is to Google it. That's how I find things. So um, anybody find the link to the Moodle MOOC? Oh, no, that's a long one. That's too long. Anybody find it? Let's see who finds it first. Okay, so you're invited to join. Just Google Moodle MOOC. Oh, you are, Alfonso. That's great. I'm so happy. But I want to see you active. Don't be afraid. There are three levels for the Moodle MOOC. And actually, I created a uh, YouTube video to help you follow it because some people find um, I'd like to navigation you to um, problematic if they don't know where to go. The first of its kind so, uh, to help you that is taking place in June. I've created a, uh, a video that'll uh, put things in perspective. It's uh, Moodle MOOC navigation and the layout for the uh, for the course. So So let me share that with you before we get timed out. There it is. That should help you. Uh, it's got the link there too. That should help you with the Moodle uh, navigation of the Moodle MOOC. Thank you. Thank you so much, Georgia, for sharing that. And thank you for joining. I'm looking forward to seeing you online and becoming independent learners so you can uh, be a, an independent teacher and start making a living online because that's what it's all about. It's about making a living because students are out there. It's uh, up to us to help them out and of course make a living because that's what we need to do. So thank you. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend and I want to see you working on the assignment. It's private? Oh my gosh, like to thank you. you for telling me that because I was working on it. Oh my gosh, I was, wor let me fix it right now. <laughs> I was working on it. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I was working on the video because I wanted to edit it. There was something wrong with it. So as I was working on the video, I, um, you're right, I forgot to, um, like to, you. to make it public again. So uh, let me make it right now. I'm going to make it uh, public so you can go into it this very minute. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, letting me know. Let's make it public. All my videos are public. Okay, try it now and let me know if it's working. Yes, it is, Helena. It's for our course. Exactly. And... Um, TESOL with Web Technologies is going to continue uh, mid-July when I come back from Victoria. Yes, you're all invited. That's right. And tomorrow we've got an op we've got a session with Dave Cormier who started the MOOC, uh, the original MOOCs, not the university MOOCs, but the original MOOCs that started in 2008 with Dave Cormier, uh, Stephen. Um, down Stephen Downs, Brian Alexander, Brian Alexander, George Simmons, they started it. And um, tomorrow Dave Cormier is going to speak. So it should be really exciting. Halima, Helena, if you've got the link, you can share it. Yes, it's working. Thank you for telling me. You see, that's why it's so important to connect. Okay, if you hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> All right, so thank you very much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye for now. Thank you.